Hello again, everyone. Welcome back to Kathy uh, Rain. Last episode, we spoke with Charles Wade, who uh, apparently got Lily Meyer's art for speculative purposes, uh, but then it was all stolen. Uh, although none of his expensive, valuable pieces were. Very suspicious indeed. Now we got a couple paintings here. Let's go ahead and take a look, and then we'll talk to Claude if we can. Just some boring landscape paintings. Oh, landscape paintings aren't boring. Just some boring land. Looks like Wade brought some of his old tunes with him. A private phone. Wade must get special privileges here. I mean, he is, like, super wealthy. Alright, before we talk to Claude, there does not appear to be anything else. Alright, Claude. That guy is huge. I wonder how many cows he eats per day. Probably four. He looks weak, but... His eyes are sharp. I'd rather not. He crushed me like a twig. Aw. Alright. I'll see you later now. Let's see if Doofus is downstairs. Nope. Doofus is not downstairs. Is there anything else that we can uh, look at around here? Rows and columns. Doesn't look like it. Alright. Let's go ahead and leave. See if Doofus is waiting for us outside. Nope. Poor Doofus. Okay, we did not get a new location, so yeah, it is talking to the sheriff's station. Hey, Lenny. Hey, Lenny. Hello, Kathy. What's up? Uh, do you know anything about Jimmy Cochran? Do you know who Jimmy Cochran is? Not really, Kathy. Sorry. Okay. Uh, what about Church of the Holy Trinity? Nah, I don't want to ask him about... Mm. Nah, I don't... Okay. I don't want to show... Hey, Lenny, do you recognize this flower? Yeah. I accidentally inhaled pollen from one of them when I was a kid. How would you just accidentally inhale a pollen? Wouldn't that just be, like, being in the area of the flower? I remember being sick and delirious for days. Hmm, sounds fun. Scary. Where did you come across this flower? Somewhere in Conwell Woods. Not sure where exactly. All right. Do you know what this is? I have no idea. Looks creepy, whatever it is. Where did you get it? Grandpa had it hidden away in the attic. Probably for a good reason, then. Be careful out there. Hey, Lenny, do you recognize these men? Not really. Sorry. You don't even recognize Grandpa? <sighs> terrible. Terrible, terrible. I don't want to show him that. I probably shouldn't. He might ask where I got it from. Didn't you get it from your grandfather? All right. Well, We're gotta done. go. See ya. Yeah, that won't get me into trouble at all. Yeah, I'd be fine. All right, let's go talk to the sheriff. All right, sheriff, we've got things to talk about. Hello, sheriff. Mind if I ask you a few more questions? If you must. Oh, I must. Uh, do you know Jimmy Cochran? Do you know who Jimmy Cochran is? No. Hmm. All right, uh, what about uh, Lily Meyer's art? Do you know anything about the art theft in the Wade estate? It was quite a few years ago. Um, yes, Mr. Wade phoned ahead about that. Thank you. Lenny! Yes, boss? Get the report from the burglary in the Wade estate back in 86. That was quite a few years after. On it, boss. There you go, Kathy. Thanks, buddy. All right. Police report burglary. Examine the police report. All right. 3-11-86. 1-12 a.m. The alarm in the way to state is triggered. The house is empty at the time, and the neighbors contact law enforcement. Uh, 2-04 a.m. Officers arrive at the scene. Several broken windows can be observed. A sweep of the estate and surrounding premises reveals no trace of the perpetrators. A single witness, identified as Franklin Goldfarb, 
reports seeing multiple burglars leaving the scene of the crime. Charles Wade arrives in Conwell Springs to make an official statement. After examining the house, he reports that paintings with an excess value of $15,000 have been stolen. The art in question has not yet popped up in any circles that are known to deal with stolen goods, terminating investigation due to lack of leads. Uh, so about a month and a half later. It took him a month to uh, make an official statement? And at 12.15 a.m.? That seems like a lot of time. Also, why was this at 2.20 a.m. on the following day? I gotta find this gold farb guy. Maybe he knows more about the burglary. Alright. Hey, Lenny. Hello, Kathy. Do you know anything about Franklin Goldfarb? Does the name Franklin Goldfarb mean anything to you? Sounds familiar, but I can't place him. Hmm. Well, gotta go. See ya! Alright, how about you, Sheriff? Hello, Sheriff. If you... Oh, I must. Does the name Franklin Goldfarb mean anything to you? I'm gonna guess he's gonna say no, I've only been around here for a little while, blah 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 blah. Never heard of him. Anything else? I'll hang on to it for now. I don't want to sh Let's see if he knows anything about Do plant. you recognize this flower? Matter of fact, I do. It's a local endangered plant with mild narcotic properties. Wow, I'm actually surprised that he's familiar with it. That that shows slight competence. Yeah? Have you come across any users in the area? Sure, but it's a bit tricky to do anything about it. Using it as a substance is technically legal. Technically legal? Ah, so the illegal part is picking it in the first place. Yes, knowingly picking the flower is a crime, according to the Endangered Species Act of 1973. Hmm. Gotcha, thanks. So... You, what about the uh, people who use it? Do you know what this is? Ah, it's just some kids playing pranks with flashlights. Well, at least he didn't say it was uh, swamp gas. He's new in town. I, I probably sh All right, well, that's about it. That's all for now. Good. All right. Let's see if we can head back in here. For no reason in particular. How's the paperwork coming along, Lenny? Uh, okay, I guess. Maybe halfway through. Huh, very funny. No wanted posters. I'm disappointed. Nothing to do there. I'll need a key. If I ever need to find... They look sturdy enough. Alright. Just a bunch of box... I don't think there's anything else... A computer monitor. Do. Probably recovered stolen goods. Too heavy to carry around, and too... Yeah, I don't think there's anything else to do back here. Alright. Let's go ahead and leave. Okay. Well, let's uh, swing by the cemetery real fast just to see if anything has changed. I doubt it, but there's always a chance. There was also that little kid that we saw that I'm still kind of curious about. Maybe he'll be here again. Although that may have been a figment of our uh, plant pollen-induced hallucinations. I'm gonna find out what happened to you, Grandpa. I promise. The grave is brimming with flowers. Okay. Have we heard of a price? It says price. I don't think so.
Okay. Let's swing by uh, Grandma's place. See if uh, she'll say anything about um, Charles Wade picking up the uh, healthcare tab and also anything about um, this gold farm guy. Oh, hello, dear. Hi, Grandma. Mind if we talk for a bit, Grandma? Not at all, dear. What's on your mind? And by talk for a bit, I just mean about these things. Do you know who Jimmy Cochran is? He was a friend of Grandpa's. I believe he teaches at the flight school these days. Oh, okay. Um... Wait, no. He's been committed. I don't think so. At least not anymore. I was told he was placed in a mental facility. Really? He always struck me as a kind man. Maybe a bit nervous and on edge, but not crazy. There's more. I found out that Jimmy asked Grandpa for help not long before Grandpa ended up in that wheelchair. Yeah, I have the recording. Jimmy sounded really desperate. I'm sure what happened to Grandpa that night had something to do with his cry for help. I mean, that's a little bit of a leap. Certainly is possible, but it's still a bit of a leap. You should go find the man, and surely he must know something. That's the plan. I just wondered if there's anything else you think I should know about him. Not really. We haven't stayed in touch since Joseph was injured. For obvious fa reasons? I know that he had a wife, Agatha, and a son, James. Agatha passed away from cancer years ago, but as far as I know, James still lives in the city with his family. Oh, well, um, oh, hey, we can use the, uh, the yellow pages to look up both those. Okay, thanks, Grandma. I don't see a reason to ask her about that. Does the name Franklin Goldfarb mean anything to you? Oh, that poor man. He used to be an upstanding citizen, you know. Used to be. Now he's constantly drinking and keeps babbling on about that imaginary acting career of his. Ah... Sad thing. Do you know where I can find him? Uh, <laughs> uh yeah, I, uh, I think we kind of know where we can find him right now. He's homeless, dear. Lost his job a few years ago and never really got back on his feet. Okay, now I know who you're talking about. Thanks, Grandma. What, the whole, uh, uh imaginary acting career part didn't give it away? Looks like I'm gonna have to have a chat with Goober. I don't want to show her that. I don't want to show her. Okay. I already showed her that. Bye, Grandma. I'll be back later. So long. Alright, we're not going to get uh, Goldfarb in the yellow pages, but uh, we should be able to get um, the Cochrans. No result for that. Hmm. I already know that Goober is Franklin Goldfarb. I should just go find him. Nah. Nope. Couldn't. Nope. Couldn't. No result. Nah. No result. I got her family's. Nope. Could. All right. Well, uh, that was disappointing, actually. <laughs> I mean, if the family still lives around here, then surely I could go find them in the book and look them up. Oh well. Okay. I am kind of putting off going to the church, just because I kind of feel like that might end our day, but uh, let's go to the Lakeside Cabin, because the, uh, the artwork did look like um, uh, the sun's. Hi, bird. Seagull. Goddamn seagulls. <laughs> what did you do? <laughs> I have no idea what it is you just did there. Oh, it's you again. Come on in. Well, thank you. Uh, no Nathan today? 
Yeah, Nathan, that's his name. Nah, haven't seen Nate all day. Probably out in the woods. Should we take a look at the drawings? Yes. Lily, me. Hmm. Looks like Nathan knows the strange red man. I need to talk to him about this. This is a little worrying. The red man. That must be Lily. She seems very happy looking up at the red man. That seems bad. Is this how Nathan still sees himself? As a little boy? I wonder if what uh, Grandfather saw in one of the paintings was a red man. A bald man dressed in red. Okay, I don't have it anymore. That's just going to take me back there. It's an early painting by Lily Myers. All right, let's go ahead and talk to Sue. I had a, a few more questions, Sue. Shoot. All right, well, let's uh, see if you know anything about Jimmy Cochran. I don't need to ask her about... Okay, apparently not. Church of the Holy Trinity? I don't need to ask... Okay. Does the name Franklin Goldfarb mean anything to you? You mean Goober? Nobody calls him Franklin anymore. Right, that's Goober. Okay, that's it. Uh, what about uh, Lily Myers stolen artwork? Did you know that somebody stole Lily's paintings from Wade? Huh? I knew he got robbed a few years back, but I, I thought he still had them all. Yeah, a few years back was nine years. Okay. Didn't have anything else to say. That's interesting. I'm kind of surprised she didn't have more to say about the fact that all of her artwork got stolen from him. Do you know who the Red Man is? Oh, that's just Nate's imaginary friend. The Red Man has been around ever since my boy was little. I see. So there's no actual person in town he could be referring to? <laughs> no way! According to Nathan, the Red Man hasn't changed in 30 years. Uh, this is bad. Red Man actually exists. I met him in the forest. Sounds like Nathan has quite an active imagination. No. Uh, we'll be honest. The Red Man actually exists. I met him in the forest. What? That's crazy talk. Stop kidding around. I am not in the mood. Does Kathy look like she kids about these things? Okay, that's all I can talk about. Did you know that somebody stole Lily's paintings? Huh, I knew he... That's the same thing. Do you know anything about this flower? Sure. Smoked it a few times back in the day, before it was endangered and all. Yeah? What was it like? Similar to pot, but stronger and more unpredictable. Never touched the stuff after I got pregnant with Lily. All right. Okay. Does this picture mean anything to Sue, you? Sue, what do you see in this picture? My God, that looks like one of Lily's paintings. Maybe that's what uh, um, her grandfather saw. Wow, then. really? Can you describe it? It was a nighttime scene. Just like the photo, but the lights were floating above the lake. There was a pale hand reaching up from beneath the surface trying to touch them. The forest in the background was on fire, making the sky purple and red. There were probably other details too, but that's what I can remember. You can remember a lot about that painting from 15 years ago. Sounds captivating. Wish I could have seen it. Hmm. I already showed... That's what I thought. Well, that is interesting. I think I'm okay. going to head off now. Sure thing, little cat. Come back anytime. There's nothing else new around here, right? I don't think so. Okay, well, maybe if we go back into the forest, we can find Nathan. Guessing that he's the one that uh, left the drawing. Stupid seagulls! I hate seagulls. I I sometimes hold grudges, and seagulls are one of the things that I hold grudges against.
stupid seagulls. Nope. Looks like a specimen of the red scythe. It's endangered. I'm not going to take it without a really good reason. Okay. Nothing else to do here. Well, that... Pretty much... Well, I mean, we could go back to the clinic. Um, or we could go to the church. I think we'll go to the church. And then we'll head to the clinic, see if we can find uh, uh, Franklin Goldfarb, Cooper. Doofus, whatever he uh, chooses to call himself these days. But that will be in the next episode. Hope you guys are still enjoying it, and I will see you next time.